Ugh. What's good? Wow, a lot of knee going on. My thing ripped. Um, hey guys, what's going on? Elliot here. I was on Twitter and I saw a post and it was like a fashion post and it was all like the Western streetwear look versus the Asian streetwear look. And so I had like a guy wearing like distressed denim with a scoop tee versus like a guy wearing like crop pants with a um with a cross body bag although there were opinions most of the opinions were male opinions that really got my curiosity going it made me think like what does the opposite sex prefer <laughs> therefore i wanted to make a video that asks the source itself who do i go to for the ultimate female opinion on whether this Western look versus this Asian look looks more appealing. If I were to really truly be judged by the opposite sex, where would I go? And I thought Facebook, Instagram, Tinder. I thought Tinder, okay? I've never used Tinder ever in my life. It's just not my style. I can't do it. I'm not judging you guys. You know, no hate on those that use Tinder. But um, for those of you guys that do, you know, different strokes for different folks is what I'm trying to say. So, I wanted to conduct an experiment. <laughs> I decided to make two Tinder profile accounts. One account, his name was Jake. He wore the American style look. And then I made another account, his name was Paul. And Paul had like the Asian streetwear look. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to test them and I'm going to see which one gets some more likes. The ultimate showdown, if you will. West versus East. K-pop versus pop. Asian American versus Asian. Asian? Anyways, you guys get the idea. And uh, yeah, is this video accurate scientifically? No, <laughs> definitely not. There are better ways to conduct this, uh, this experiment. I'll take you guys through it, here we go. We found this park next to our house. My camera assistant right behind. I guess we're gonna shoot here for the first look, for the first Asian look, for the international <laughs> Asian look. You know, you gotta have like the distressed denim bands, maybe like a scoop tee. Of course you gotta have your like basic Nike hat. <laughs> At least that's how the dudes in uh, on my side of town like that. So hopefully this works out. First American movie. Let's go. Can we do one like when I'm just like looking away? I'm like pissed. I guess that's like Western, right? <laughs> American. How am I? I'm supposed to know this. What I got is the uh, crop chinos, tucked in oversized t-shirt, cross body bag, and then the last, <laughs> going with the glasses, guys. <laughs> I got a black beanie. This is from Vans. Button it all the way up, very church-like. Got the dark denim. Last but not least, you got the boots. Now I'm gonna pretend like I'm actually going somewhere, so I use this duffel bag as an accessory. Okay, so it's been three days since. Let's uh, finally check our results. I got my phone here, and uh, let's see what we got. For each account, I swipe 200 times. So let's go with Paul first, okay? Also known as the Asian streetwear look. He got... Paul got 18 matches out of 200. That's like 9%. Um, okay. That makes sense though, because Paul, like, he's like Asian, you know, so he dresses more Asian. And I live in America, so obviously I'm not gonna get as much um, matches because I just feel like the average girl is not going to gravitate towards that. 
So that makes a lot of sense. I feel like since Jake got the more American look, he's gonna get like way more likes. I'm shooting for like maybe like, I don't know, maybe like 30%. I wanna say 30%. So we're on Jake's profile. So Jake was the American streetwear look. Out of 200 swipes, Jake got 42 matches. It's like 21%. <laughs> Wow, uh, that's kind of disappointing. It's pretty sad. Uh, hmm. 42 matches, and uh, Paul got even worse, which was 18 matches out of 200. Those are not good numbers, guys. These are not good numbers. Oh. What? I wonder why. Why? I think I know. Okay, so. We're gonna do a little math equation. I think I know why. So if n equals the number of swipes times zero, which is the amount of times I've cheated on someone, subtracted by one because you only have one true line, is the amount of likes I've gotten on Tinder times the product of the Tinder profiles, Jake and Paul, that gives me. That's the, uh, that's the that's the punchline. No one likes Jake Paul. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Anyways, uh, American style wins. Hope this was educational for you guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Click like if you liked it, and subscribe if you would like to see more content of mine. Just like it if you disliked it. Zelliot. And uh, am I forgetting anything? That's it. No. All right. See you guys. Bye.